on day one, we are going to reduce the cost of living in Virginia by cutting taxes because it costs too much to live here. We all know it. The cost of living in Virginia is skyrocketing. We're watching more people move away from Virginia to move to Virginia than the other 49 states. And the saddest part is the biggest group moving away are 26 to 35 year olds. They're going someplace else to start their life, to fill their dreams. And it's, it's most of the time Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, and Texas. Why? lower cost of living and better jobs. Friends, I'm so tired of losing our best Virginians to move away. We're going to keep them all here. And yet the progressives in Richmond continue. They overtaxed us by $2.6 billion last year, and they're going to do it again this year. And I'm telling you, that's your money, not Terry McAuliffe's. And so on day one, we will declare the largest tax refund in the history of Virginia. We are going to eliminate the grocery tax. We're going to suspend the most recent increase in the gas tax. We're going to double standard deduction and we are going to work for our veterans. One of the greatest things about this commonwealth is that one out of 11 Virginians is a veteran. They make our community better. They understand that we all know that freedom is not free. And they stood up for us, and it's our time to say thank you. We're only one of a handful of states that taxes our veterans' retirement benefits. And so we're going to go to work and build up the $40,000 that we are going to exclude from taxes for our veterans so we can say thank you. Thank you, veterans. Over the course of the first year, this will save Virginia families of four, nearly $1,500 in year one. My opponent's plans, hundreds of pages of policies will cost Virginia family $16 billion. A $5,400 tax bill coming your way. Let me tell you folks, he thinks it's his money. I know it's your money. And we're going to get the cost of living in Virginia down. Yeah. On day one, we are going to reestablish expectations of excellence in our schools. Yeah. Terry McAuliffe was governor, 88 schools failed to reach their accreditation. And rather than fix the schools, all they did was change the scoring so not one would fail. Today, Virginia ranks 50th in the nation when it comes to the stay down for a long time. Well, let me tell you, on day one, we're going to launch 20 new charter schools, and that is a down payment to close this gap and give parents choice in Virginia schools. But we know. It all comes down to curriculum. We know this. And so let me be very clear, Fairfax County, we are going to teach accelerated math in our schools. We are going to award advanced diplomas. We are going to teach history, all of it, the good and the bad. America is the greatest country on the planet. We have to teach our kids the greatness of America, but we also have to recognize we have dark, abhorrent chapters, and we must teach them too. We must know where we've come from to see where we are going. We will teach all history, but what we will not do. We will not teach our children to view everything through a lens of race and divide them into, into baskets and then make them compete against one another and steal dreams. We will not be a commonwealth of dream stealers. We will stand up and try to live to those great words of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. who implored us to be better than we are. To judge one another based on the content of our character and not the color of our skin. And therefore, on day one, I will ban critical race theory from being in the school system. On day one, we're going to stand up for law enforcement because they stand up for us. We're at a 20-year high murder rate in Virginia. 20-year high. Four of our great cities rank in the top 65 deadliest cities in America. Richmond at number 11. Norfolk, Hampton, Newport News. You can't pick up the newspaper without being absolutely just in tears of what's going on. My opponent doesn't care. When he was governor, the murder rate went up 43%. The rape rate went up every year. He would not even meet with the Police Benevolent Association representing 7,000 law enforcement heroes who put a bulletproof vest on every morning to go to work. That's why 50 sheriffs have endorsed us. Four have switched parties. We've been endorsed by the Police Benevolent Association. 
Association. Friends, they trust us. And so on day one, we're going to work. We're going to comprehensively fund law enforcement, higher salaries, better equipment budgets. We're going to fund training. We're going to protect qualified immunity. We're going, to, we're going to invest into our mental health system. It's broken for eight years. We must have more capacity, more professionals. And friends, on day one, I will fire the entire parole board and start off with it. On day one, we're going to get this economy moving. Virginia's economy is stalled out. It's been stalled out for eight years. Maryland, North Carolina, Tennessee, South Carolina, Georgia, over the last eight years, they grew 70% faster every year than Virginia. North Carolina generated eight times the jobs that Virginia has in the last eight years. Tennessee, six. Ford Motor Company just announced last month four new giant plants, 11,000 jobs, two in Kentucky, one in Tennessee, one in Georgia, none in Virginia. I am tired of Virginia losing, and I'm particularly tired of Virginia losing out to Maryland. Yeah. My opponent, he, he lauds this record. Friends, 32 of his 79 economic development deals failed to create a single job. He went around and announced 14,000 jobs, only 7,000 showed up. 50% is not a winning record. In my world, if that was the record of a leader, you would not only fire them, but you would never consider rehiring them as the leader again. So we got to go to work on day one, so hear me very clearly. On day one, I will announce that Virginia is open for business, never to be locked down, shut down. We're open for business. We're going to protect our right to work. We're going to protect the ability for workers to choose to join the union. Of course, Terry McAuliffe has already sold out. He promised that he would sign the bill when it came to his desk to get rid of right to work. The unions bought and paid for him millions of dollars into his campaign. Folks, I am not bought and paid for. I will do what's right for Virginia and protect our right to work. But we got to get growing. So on day one, we're going to cut 25% of job-killing regulations. The code in Virginia is 37,000 pages long. Try printing that out at home and reading it. we got to cut this. We're going to have a 12-month tax holiday for small business. Keep your profits and invest in growth and employment. We're going to get Virginians back to work is what we're going to do. We're going to have job training so that you're either career ready or college ready. And we've got to get Virginia innovating again. We're ranked 49th in the nation as best place to start a business. Not to pick on those from Connecticut, but only Connecticut is worse. I don't want us to be Connecticut. Friends, we have to have incubators and accelerators and form capital and cut the paperwork so that entrepreneurs can actually live their dreams here in Virginia versus going to Nashville or Raleigh or other places. Friends, we have a plan together. And by the way, let me be clear. Governors do not create jobs. Businesses and people do. And therefore, it's my job to partner with all of you, and we have a plan to generate 400,000 new jobs, foster 10,000 startups. We are going to get Virginia back to work and growing again and lift up everybody in this great commonwealth of Virginia. Friends, on day one, and it's going to be a busy first day. <laughs> By the way, this is day two, three, and four coming. But on day one, we are going to make government work for us and stop telling us what to do all the time. Yeah. It starts with our constitutional rights. They've been trampled on. We know it. Our First Amendment rights, our Second Amendment rights, our Tenth Amendment rights. Yeah. I knew this governor doesn't understand our First Amendment. He opened up ABC stores and kept my church closed. He lets the FBI come into Virginia and silence parents when they're standing up for their kids' rights. Yeah. Jason, Jason Miares and Winston Sears and I are going to go fight for you against big government overreach and we're going to push back using the 10th Amendment like every other Republican-led state in America. Yeah. 